Rachel Mayrose with Secondhand Hounds says use frozen Kong toys for dogs. You can fill it with treats like peanut butter and it'll keep them busy for an hour or two. You can also use snuffle mats to hide their food. The feeding process becomes an expedition instead. And Rachel says if it's nice out, go for a walk or two. It'll tire out your pet so you can get that report in. It's a great thing to do for our mental health. It's also really good for our animals' mental health as long as you're making sure to stay six feet away from everybody um, that you cross paths with and also make sure that you're not stopping and petting people's dogs or letting people pet your dog. I definitely think that keeping a similar schedule to what you've been on is really important, not only for you, but for your pets as well. Yeah. Rachel says that way your pet won't be stressed out when you head back to the office. Okay, Secondhand Hounds tells us adoption and fostering are way up right now because so many people are home. It says compared to this time last year, adoption applications have doubled and foster applications are coming in four times more. Animal shelters love the compassion, but they're also worried for when people go back to work. It is another reminder to make sure that your normal schedule can accommodate for a pet.